Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and it's Saturday, February 11th. A Tesla full self-driving beta smear campaign is reaching a whole new level, as it's going to have a Super Bowl ad. This is according to the people behind the campaign. Last year, we reported that Dan O'Dowd, a self-described billionaire and founder of Green Hill Software, launched a Senate campaign that was really just an effort to smear Tesla's full self-driving effort, calling it dangerous, among other things. Surprise, surprise, the campaign failed, but the project continued to go after Tesla, and they called it the Dawn Project. And right now, Dan O'Dowd announced on Twitter that they produced a new anti-Tesla full self-driving beta video, and they're going to show it on the Super Bowl ad this Sunday. The ad, shown on his Twitter listing, shows a collection of bad Tesla full self-driving moments with Tesla vehicles crashing into dummies. Persistently, the ad refers to, quote, Tesla full self-driving, which is inciting the admittedly ill-named feature that is still just in beta access. It should be noted that O'Dowd's Green Hill software claims to produce software for the automotive industry and specifically for driver's assist features which makes it a direct competitor to Tesla's full self-driving efforts. I'm sure that's just a coincidence, though. Tesla has hired a new general counsel, a position that has been historically difficult to fill for the automaker. Tesla is often described as having a high turnover, especially when it comes to top lawyers. But now Tesla executives have announced, quote, excited to have Brandon Erhardt join the Tesla team as our general counsel and to have Dina Eskin continue in a leadership role at Tesla Legal as we build a world-class team. Erhardt is coming from Dish Network, where he had an impressively long 20-year career and most recently held the position of general counsel Dish Wireless, as well as executive vice president and corporate secretary Dish Network. The Vanderbilt-educated lawyer comes to Tesla nine months after Elon Musk announced that Tesla was building a, quote, hardcore litigation department to become more aggressive in litigations. Tesla is preparing to expand its insurance business internationally, starting with insurance products in the United Kingdom. Before expanding its insurance to other markets, Tesla wanted to build up its safety score system, which utilized driving data collecting real-time from vehicles to determine if they were a good driver. This is all based on things such as how many forward collision warnings a driver gets, among other things like hard braking and follow distance, all of them on the autopilot sensors. In October of 21, Tesla finally launched this to the public starting in Texas, then expanding to other U.S. states. Now the U.K.'s Insurance Post reports that Tesla started the process and it is hiring a lawyer to work in its, quote, full-stack in-house in-insurer and it's going to be based in London headquarters. This week's episode is sponsored by SAE International, hosts of the WCX World Congress Experience event. For 2023, WCX is set to return to Detroit from April 18th to 20th at Huntington Place. As the largest technical mobility event in North America, WCX brings together thousands of engineers, suppliers, and mobility professionals to exchange ideas, discuss today's challenges, and build powerful relationships to move your career and the industry forward. Join the global mobility community in the Motor City this April to stay up to date on the latest technological advances, participate in roundtable discussions, and network with the brightest minds in the industry. Gain a competitive advantage and meet the people shaping the future of mobility. Visit wcx.sae.org to register now. Tesla is slightly raising the price of its Model Y in China after an important price cut last month resulted in a significant increase in orders. In an update to the online configurator, the price for the Model Y standard range went up 2,000 yuan, which is actually just shy of 300 bucks US. Can't imagine this will have too much of an effect on sales, but we will stay tuned to see if it's a trend over time. A new Tesla Cybertruck beta prototype has been spotted And this time we get a look at the front end, which appears to have been updated and still has that monstrous windshield wiper. We believe that it's a new beta prototype because this one, similar to the one spotted last week, also has the triangular side mirrors, which were not on previous prototypes. It looks that Tesla is sticking with unconventional headlights as it moves into the beta prototype. The light bar is similar to the original that was unveiled in 2019. The large vertical resting wiper is on this prototype, a feature that we're not entirely sure what will become of it. 
Elon Musk previously said that it wouldn't be the wiper that would make it to production, but this beta prototype is supposedly near the final version. Tesla recently said that it aims to bring it to production this summer. Ford is reducing its massive stock holdings in Rivian. The partnership began in 2019 after Ford invested $500 million into the startup. Ford said that it would use Rivian's electric platform to develop its own Ford or Lincoln badged EVs alongside the planned F-150 electric pickup and crossover. We knew it wasn't going to be sunshine and roses since Ford announced in April of 2020 that it would be moving away from using the Rivian platform. And now Ford's latest SEC filing on Wednesday indicated that the automaker reduced its stake further to just 10.5 million shares or 1.15% of Rivian's total stock. Ram has officially announced the Ram 1500 REV, its first all-electric pickup, today. And the company claims that it is starting an electric revolution. This is despite being late to the electric game and the electric truck game in particular. With the announcement, Ram said that the production will start next year and that more details will be released tomorrow, Super Bowl Sunday. In the meantime, you can check out some pictures that we have on our site if you'd like to peruse. In today's community comment found on YouTube, Dan Welch says, This has quickly become one of my favorite news channels, and I look forward to each episode. Great work. Thank you very much, Danny, and thank you for your encouragement. And thanks for your comment. Thanks for watching Quick Charge. Thanks for everything. What comes after that? Thanks for watching Quick Charge. Thanks for watching Quick Charge. Oh, right. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.